really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a bedside nursery tour and we have Miss Navy. The whole reason why we have this bedside nursery, can you say hello? We keep this in the room, but honestly we don't utilize it that much because she's not super into it for long periods of time. She starts to get antsy. So I use it mainly for like picture purposes, but it's much cheaper than the like Docatot or the Snuggle Me. So if you're wanting to try one of these things out, but not sure if your baby will like it, I will link this one down below just because it is way cheaper. Are you looking for this? Oh, I just got her a little passy clip too. She, y'all, she is a thumb sucker. If I let her, she will search for that thumb. Let's see if she does it. And she will suck on it. There you go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't. My heart. <laughs> I did, this is so much cheaper. And I'm glad I didn't spend the money on those other two and got an off brand type one. Just because, like I said, she's not super into it. But for pictures and stuff and for like quick little things, it does its job. But as like long time periods, she's not really into it. I actually ended up getting this off of Facebook Marketplace, but it is on Amazon, so I will link it down in the description box below, but I got it for a little bit cheaper just because I did buy it used as well. So check Facebook Marketplace for like good baby deals, especially if you're not quite sure what your baby will like. This way you save some money and you can decide if your baby's into it or not. So here I just have my huge insulated water jug. I'm super thirsty 24 seven because of all the pumping and whatnot. So having a big water jug handy all the time is really beneficial. At nighttime, I just fill this up with ice and water, but then that way it stays cold throughout the entire night. And then in here, I actually have other water bottles. That way I don't have to go into the kitchen at nighttime. If I need more water, I can just pour one of those in here. Navy, I know she's only a month old, but she does actually sleep through the night. She sleeps about seven, eight hours, but I'm still super thirsty and we do co-sleep. I don't want to have to wake her up when I need more water. So just being able to like reach over this really quick and pour it on top of the ice because I can't stand room temperature water is like really helpful for me. Also in here, I do have snacks because at night I get super hungry. And so these have been amazing. The, these lactation cookie bites, I have had issues with my supply before. In here I had like granola bars, beef jerky, and just like other type of snacks, but I decided to fill it up more with these lactation cookie bites. I do notice quite a bit of difference when I don't eat these on a regular basis. I think I mentioned in like my other video, I can totally make my own, but I just have a lot going on and it's just easier for me to buy this kind of stuff than making it myself. So I really do love these though. They are kind of expensive, but they taste amazing. And if you have a sweet tooth, I think like these are a good option, especially if you're breastfeeding or pumping to build up your supply, but still get like a sweet treat in. And then here I just have my prenatals, uh, Tylenol. I got off like the hydrocodone and stuff just because I didn't want to take that forever. So I'm just relying on a bunch of um, pain reliever <laughs> medicine instead. And then here I have my magnesium, which is not what's supposed to be in here actually. I mean, it can be in here. I needed this more when I was pregnant. I don't really need it right now. I was not paying attention when I was reorganizing last night and this is supposed to be my B complex vitamin. It, I had um, pseudo carpal tunnel when I was pregnant and for the first like month after I gave birth, I still had it pretty bad. It's died down a lot, but the B vitamin complex really helped with my pseudo carpal tunnel. I need to go switch that out. I wasn't paying attention when I reorganized yesterday. But yes, super handy having a snack drawer. I still want to put beef jerky in here because I'm obsessed with beef jerky, but this is what I have in there right now. And like I said, having my vitamins and stuff right next to me, especially the pain relievers when at night I wake up and I'm extreme, like in extreme pain. It's just nice to have it right next to me. 
Then down here, I just have my postpartum girdle, my wrap that goes around my tummy. I have my heating pad. And then in here, I have my nipple pads and then my breast milk storage bags. And then these are amazing. They are these breast gel packs. You can heat these or cool these when your breasts are engorged or just super swollen and are in pain, whether you're pregnant or breastfeeding or whatever, just even just PMSing, like your period, you know, your boobs swell up and they start to get in some severe pain. These have just been a total game changer for my breast. I love these. I normally heat them. I haven't really used the, them cooling, but heating them is just, and then like placing them on the boobs. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't explain to you how amazing those are. I didn't have those with my first pregnancy and I wish I would have because they're just a game changer. Then up here in this little crate, I have extra socks for her, which I picked up from Amazon. They, I have multiples. I have some in her actual nursery, but they're like really neutral toned socks and I really love them. So I'll link these down in the description box below. I'll link everything I can down in the description box below per usual. And then we have her muslin swaddles here. She loves these. And then she also loves the like sleeper packs, like the little... I don't know what she like they're kind of like little sleeping bags type of things they're not like swaddles where they're tight they're much looser she loves that she sleeps in one every night but it's being washed right now because she spit up in it so i usually have that in here as well but i definitely need to get her more because she loves those and y'all trevor is like a grade a swaddler i'm kind of upset and jealous that he's much better at swaddling than me. I swaddle her and she just gets out of it in like five seconds. When Trevor swaddles her, she's just so content and so snug. It's ridiculous how amazing at swaddling he is. But she loves these compared to like the other zipper swaddles that we had. I just ended up getting rid of those because she hated them. So the muslin swaddles, I have a bunch of these in different colors and then the little sleeping bags she loves. And then here we have extra clothing in case she has an accident in the middle of the night or whatever we don't have to go all the way to her nursery we can just grab one of these and change her and then I also have some hats in here for her just because we do like it kind of cold in the house so I wanted those next to us just in case we need to put one on her and then I put in this all-purpose cleaner at Jeff's. My girl is frequently just, when we're changing her diaper, she likes to shoot poop everywhere and pee on us. And she's just, I don't know, she's very disrespectful when we're changing <laughs> her diaper. So I decided to put this in here. That way we can just wipe down her mat and everything else that she gets it on. Because, yeah, I guess she thinks it's a joke. I don't know. And over here we have the hatch rest machine. I use it mainly for the light. We do turn the sound on, but it doesn't really face her whether we have it on or not. It's not something that I feel like was needed. I feel like we could have just had a regular night light. I mentioned that in my baby regrets video, but we have it. We use it. I like the sound because I hate dead silence when I sleep, but it doesn't really, for my daughter, it doesn't really matter. It does have like different colors. It does have different sounds. It does also come with an app so you can change the colors. You can create your own color and you can choose the sounds. You can also set timers and things like that. So it's, it's really nice. It's just for us, it doesn't really make much of a difference. And here, my favorite part of literally everything <laughs> that I've boughten is this rolling cart. We keep it mainly in the bedroom because again, that's where we are the most but I take this into every room that we go to so for chilling in the living room we take it we just roll it in there and I have literally everything if I'm giving her a bath in the sink it's all here and I don't have to go to different rooms I can just take this where I'm at and I love it starting at the top we have this diaper caddy and in here we have her saline drops her thermometer which haven't really used yet I used it for me actually and not my daughter yet just because I was having issues with my breasts and I thought I was getting mastitis or whatever it's called and one of the symptoms is a fever so I've I use that on myself but I haven't quite used it for my daughter yet but I do like it in case you're looking for a 
thermometer. This is a no touch thermometer. And then here we have the gripe water, which I talked about in my baby favorites video. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Droppers in there. And then here we have this nose aspirator. I'm obsessed with this. I have used this quite a bit for her especially because we're in those colder months i'm going to do a baby favorites part two because I've, i have a lot of new favorites now that she's a month old there's stuff that i can add to the list so i'll talk about this more in that video but i wasn't going to get the nose sucker you know the one where the mom puts a thing in her mouth and sucks out the snot i wasn't going to do that so i was looking for one that wasn't the big bulb because i hated using that for my son this one's just amazing and then in the back here I have my honest calm your nip balm which was just fantastic especially when I was breastfeeding because Navy liked to gnaw on my nipples and I was in severe pain this stuff was amazing much better than I think it's it's called lanolin or something like that. But the purple one that most people use, this one's a little bit more expensive, but this one was so much better for my nipples than the one that is common, more commonly used. Here in the back are the extra pieces and like nasal heads to the aspirator. There's different sizes and different shapes. That way it can kind of grow with her. And then in the last one, I just have this honest, all organic, all purpose balm. So I haven't really utilized this. I used it more like for her feet when her skin is dry, like on the top of her feet. But other than that, I haven't used much of it. But it's in there just in case, you know, I can use it. Trevor can use it. Kale can use it. We can all use it. It's for everybody. So I love this diaper caddy because it has the three pockets in the front, the three in the back. And then the two large ones on the side, which I don't have anything on the sides because I don't really need it right now. But if I had more stuff, I could put it in there. And then in the top, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a Velcro caddy. So you can actually take the pieces out and, you know, shape this to however you want it. You don't have to have it shaped like I do. It can kind of go however you want to, or you can put them like on the insides of these right here if you want to have the side ones. Just have this like main area open. Whatever you wanna do, it's very versatile. But up here, I just have some burp cloths, the muslin burp cloths. I had another one in here, but I just gave it to my husband because he's watching Navy now because she was not having sitting in here with me. But I normally have am stocked with burp cloths in here. And then these are washcloths for when I just need to wipe her face or something really quick or when I'm going to give her a bath, I always bathe her with two washcloths so especially when I'm filming so I can cover her you know her her lady parts so always have two washcloths in here and then in this pocket we have the dusting powder from Burt's Bees which I love it smells so amazing and then the Honest Diaper Rash Cream I stocked up on the A&D diaper cream but this came in a gift that someone got me it came with a bunch of Honest like products and this was in here and I actually really do love this a lot more than the A&D. Again, it's more expensive, but I just like the way it goes on better. And here we just have some hand and face wipes, pretty self-explanatory. It just kind of comes in handy for little things. And then here this is mainly for me the um lotion because it's winter time, your girl gets really ashy and I just like to have lotion on hand. And obviously here we have diapers and then wipes then down here i have her wipe warmer here are the disposable diaper bags which are super convenient and i love this i have one in her nursery and then a pack in my diaper bag as well they're just they're cheaper than having to buy the reusable bags for a diaper genie and then back here i have her actual diaper changing pad which i'm obsessed with and it's just this cute like blush kind of leather it's a vegan leather actually which if you're into vegan products and you're looking for something like that this is from amazon and i love it it's super easy because you can just wipe it down like i said she's frequent with you know 
shooting her poop at us and what <laughs> and whatnot. So having a changing pad that I can just wipe down is a lifesaver because with my son, I didn't have one of those. I had a bunch of cloth like changing pads and I always had to go and wash them if he had an accident. I couldn't just go and wipe it down. So this was something new for me for this baby and something that I wish that I would have had for my son, but you live and you learn, you know? Then for the bottom row, I typically actually have her bath towel down here, but that's being washed because we just used it. And this is typically in my nightstand as well with all my other breastfeeding parts, but I'm about to go out and breastfeed. So I just put it in the cart so I could take it all to the living room. You see how like functional and amazing this is? So I put all the breast pump stuff in here and then I have her body wash and lotion honestly <laughs> no pun intended I love a lot of the honest stuff but the body wash and lotion is not something that agrees with my daughter's skin she does great with the wipes she was perfect with the diapers the diaper rash cream works amazing on her but as far as the lotion and body wash goes they actually break her skin out pretty badly so my son's actually using this it worked fine for his skin but it's not something that she uses so I switched over to the baby dove sensitive body wash and that breaks out her skin even worse so if you guys have any body wash for babies and lotion products for babies that you recommend Give me a suggestion down below. I don't like the Johnson's stuff, but my breast pump, I love this breast pump. It is amazing, and I'm thankful that someone gifted it to me. And then back there, I have the Haka. And then down here, I have her baby grooming kit, which I love. It comes with the nail scissors and a case, and then a comb. Her brush goes on top of this comb, but it's in um, her bedroom right now because I was brushing her hair and then the nail file and then this is a teething brush. So I just keep it all in here. That way it's all organized and whatnot and I don't have to worry about trying to find like a canister for it or anything. But I love the grooming kit. So this is normally like her, her bath tier. But like I said, I'm about to go into the living room and pump. So the pumping stuff is down there. And then over here we have her bassinet, which she doesn't use at all, which is so depressing because I'm in love with this bassinet. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $30, which was a steal for this. She's just not into it. I mentioned in my video last night that we do co-sleep since birth. She would not sleep anywhere, but on my chest and my arms. We have graduated to being able to sleep next to mommy. I did try a co-sleeping type of bassinet that attached itself to the bed. She did not like that at all. So unless she's sleeping on my chest or right next to me, then she won't sleep. I need to be able to utilize this at some point, but she's just not into it right now. So it's just kind of there for looks. It makes the room <laughs> look pretty and puts something in this space because we had nothing here before, but yeah sadly she doesn't lay in it i did manage to put her in there while i made the bed this morning and she lasted through that portion so that was like 10 minutes and then she started getting angry but <laughs> it's such a beautiful bassinet wish she liked it and then lastly we just have the still trash can so at night this and this come right next to the bed that way i can just lean over change her diaper and then throw the diaper in the trash can and whatnot and then in the morning I put it over here and if I'm back in the bed then I obviously roll it back or I take it like I said to a different part of the room but when we're not utilizing it then it can just stay right there out of the way but still looking cute and organized I love it but that is it for this bedside nursery tour I hope you all enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next Vlogmas video tomorrow. Bye, guys.